episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL-TV where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes in a featured category. Today's category is Try a New Technique. I'm Katie, and as usual, I am joined by Elizabeth and Beth, who will tell us about their recipes. So Beth, tell us what you chose today. Okay, well, what I made was a um, jalapeno and cheddar stuffed um, or yeah, uh, sourdough boule. Um, now at that, though, this was in January. It's a few months after that. Um, I had just started making the sourdough starter probably like around the, in the holiday time. And so, um, so that was my new technique. So I, um, I'm not going to get into all the, the start and the recipe. It's all, um, and it, it came from this woman, Amanda Pa, P-A-A, and she uh, created the Heartbeat with two E's kitchen uh, website blog. Um, and she seems to be a pretty uh, uh, informed person about uh, sourdough. So um, I, I, I'm including her sourdough recipe and then the cheddar recipe. One of the interesting things about it was uh, that you used pickled jalapenos. So that was good. And also chunks of cheddar. Um, I have a couple pictures and you will see that my bread, the scoring, I'm not good at scoring bread. And so there's no actual scores in it when you see it, but it, it still looks pretty good. And then when you, I uh, have one of cutting it open and the crumb, which is the holes, and you know how that worked out. That looks really good. It looks really professional, but I just have not mastered the scoring of bread. Um, I tried to, I, I was looking for a lame that, which is what you use. And um, the person at Ace Hardware said, well, oh, we don't have them, but here's a razor blade. So I got a, I used a, she's like, really, that's all you need. And it was like way cheaper, but um, I just, Again, haven't mastered it, and um, I would like to try again, but I've, at this point, finally used up all my starter, and I'm just going to do it over again um, and really, in the future, focus on my my scoring. But to be honest with you, I really like making crackers um, with it. So anyway, that's what I made. Um, it's it was It was very good. I was pleased with it. I just need to work on the scoring of the bread. Well, it sounds awesome. Did you mostly eat it like just on its own or with butter or on sandwiches yep. or what did you do? Butter, sandwich, uh, no, no sandwich. I think we ate it too, too quickly. <laughs> I think cool. it was just butter. I don't even remember knowing me, maybe some cream cheese. I, I don't know, but uh, it was very good though. I was it pleased sounds- with how it tasted. It sounds um, like it would be good with warm. like, yeah. like an egg, like a fried egg on it too. Oh yeah, I mean, we we may have, but again, <laughs> it was a snowy, wintry day then. Anyway, um, so it was a new technique, and I once I was reading the the recipe again today, I was like, yeah, I really, really studied that recipe. I was like over and over because it's so intense mm-hmm. to make sourdough, but um, it's not hard, and um, I'd recommend giving it a whirl. So Elizabeth, what tech, new technique did you use? Yeah, so I was thinking about what to do for this and I explored a few different options, but um, I was recently traveling for three weeks and so I just needed to keep it something pretty simple. Um, and I was thinking I am always spending a large amount of money at, at the store on like the kind of nice pasta sauces like the nice spaghetti sauce because I really like the ones that just have the simple ingredients um you know and but they're like eight dollars for a jar you know and then you use it and so I was like you know I think I need to try making my own pasta sauce um and I think I was thinking I think Beth you've done this but anyway 
I did not follow a recipe. I made it up as I went, but I will share what I did. I used um, an entire clove, an entire bulb of garlic, and I used about six shallots. And I just kind of like roughly chopped them and then put them in a pot with a bunch of olive oil and some salt and just let them simmer down and get really soft. And then I added in a bunch of tomatoes and let those just like burst and get kind of jammy. And then I added in some fresh chopped. Oh, I do have a picture of that, right? Just kind of what that looked like on the stove. And then I added some fresh chopped basil, some red pepper flakes and some ground black pepper. And um, I thought about putting other stuff in. I know like I could put in oregano or whatever, but I just wanted to keep it simple. And I just kind of let all that cook together with, I used a pretty good olive oil. I thought maybe that would be important. And then I took my immersion blender and just blended it up. Um, and, um, <clears throat> it was super easy. I was like, why haven't I done this before? <laughs> um, I will say it didn't make as much as I'd hoped like to actually get, like, I didn't store any, the amount that I made just kind of went on some pasta that I was making for dinner that night. Um, so I think when, when I do it again, I might make like I might use a bigger pot and just make a lot more and then just try to save some of it to use. But it was so easy. It was so good. And the immersion blender, I don't use it enough because it often, I just think of it for soups, but I was like, this was so great just right in the pot. And it like made it, I could kind of almost choose the texture that I wanted it to be. Um, and it was, it was super good. And I am excited to kind of play around with it and do some different, just like slightly different flavorings. Like I could make it spicier or I could add like a couple, you know, I could add cream. I mean, you know, whatever. So um, I had not done it before. I, you know, I, it's, I'm, it kind of sounds silly to say that now, but um, I enjoyed it. It was delicious. And I think it offers a lot of flexibility in, um, you know, making the sauce. So I am, I'm excited to, to keep on doing it and, uh, it, it was delicious. So good job. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, it, it saved time to have a jar. Um, but it, def, it's, it is really simple. You just need to have the ingredients and yeah. Yeah. So that's good. I do like to add a regno to mine. Yes. Yeah. Well, I've also never made my own tomato pasta sauce. So that sounds very good to me. Very cool. I can't wait to try yours, uh, especially once the tomato crops start coming in. I always end up having more than I can use. So that's a wonderful thing to do with it. And I will definitely try your recipe. Yeah, it was good. Hey, Beth, do you put tomato paste in yours? Do you add that? Um. Yes, I I do. That's why I like to have the tubes of tomato. Paste. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or but what, when I'm using, um, like, I'm sorry, my cat's trying to get in my garbage. Um, <laughs> so silly. Um, when I'm using, uh, like, you know, a bunch of tomatoes and tomato sauce. Yeah. I, I, I just tend to use tomato paste. That was one thing I thought I was like, I think next time I'll do a couple tablespoons of tomato paste mm -hmm. just, just for that like additional flavor. So anyway, cool. All yeah. right, Katie, what was your technique? All right. Well, similar to you, I also tried a couple different things for this category. And honestly, for me, like nothing was just like wowing me. It was kind of like, meh, but I did end up choosing to share this recipe because there's a little side salad that goes with it that I ended up really loving. So I figured at least I could share it for that reason. But um, this recipe is for barbecue chip chicken. It's by Kate Merker from goodhousekeeping.com. So basically you're going to crust your chicken with barbecue chips is the idea. And I've never done anything like that. So I thought, well, that's new. So give it a shot. Um, it's very simple. You heat, preheat your oven, oil, large baking sheet, um, place some flour into a shallow bowl. Then in a second bowl, you beat some eggs, 
gar granulated garlic, some water, some salt, and then in your third bowl, you crush up your potato chips, in this case, barbecue um, flavored, and then you toss your chicken, which this is a uh, chicken breast cutlet. So you can cut these yourself out of a chicken breast or just buy them already cut up from the store. Toss those in lemon juice. Then you dip them in the flour, the egg, the chip, and then you lay it on your baking sheet. So you just like make sure also your sides are coated and then you cook them for like 12 to 18 minutes. Here's where the recipe tells you to make a salad. And honestly, when I was making this, I was like, feeling super lazy I was like I just want some chicken fingers and ranch like I don't feel like having a salad but you've got 18 minutes to wait and I had all the ingredients so I was like you know what I'm gonna make the salad and I'm so glad that I did it's a little bit um unusual I don't usually uh, make like a green bean based salad which is what this is so you blanch your green beans you just bring some water to a boil throw some green beans and salt in there um, for like three minutes, then throw them in an ice bath. When they're cold, drain them. While your green beans are cooking, you just make a quick pickled onion with uh, some red onion, vinegar, salt, and pepper, and just let that sit for five minutes. Um, then you add some tomatoes. They used uh, quartered Campari tomatoes, but I just had um, cherry tomatoes on the vine, so I just halved those. Um, you add those to your pickled onions with a little bit of oil, toss those, and then uh, just before serving, add your green beans and some parsley. You serve that on the side with your chicken. Um, I've got a picture of when the chicken came out of the oven. It actually did a pretty, the coating actually did a pretty good job of staying on. You can see that there's some spots where it didn't quite adhere all the way, but mostly it was good. Um, my biggest issue with the chicken was that it was just kind of bland. Like I didn't really, wasn't really tasting that like barbecue chip flavor that I was really looking for in this recipe. And I wonder like maybe if you used a different kind of chip or a different flavor of chip, like that maybe this would still be good because it was a cool technique, but it just like wasn't that tasty. Then I have a picture of how I served it, just some ranch dressing and my little side salad which ended up being the tastiest part of this dish. And I definitely need to make that again. So at least there's that. Yeah, the salad sounds like it would be flavorful and like bright and really, you know, kind of complement the chicken well, honestly. But did the chips stay crispy? Did they stay crunchy? They were a little bit crunchy. Okay. I wish they were crunchier, I guess, yeah. was part of the issue too. Like, yeah, ish, crunchy ish. <laughs> okay. What kind of chips did you use? I think they were just like Meyer brand potato chips. So I think maybe if you used like, I don't know, a better brand of potato chips, if that would make a difference, or maybe if you used a kettle chip. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. If it was a kettle chip. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that would be better. Or like, what if you use salt and vinegar, which is one of my favorite kinds of chips? Would that, because that flavor is so strong, like, would that come through? I don't know. I have thoughts, but we'll, I don't know if I'll ever revisit it. We shall see. <laughs> um, now, I just want to get that salad straight. It was blanched green beans. Pickled onions. Pickled and onion. Tomato. And, the, and tomatoes. Oh, tomato and, and parsley. Parsley. That's basically it. It was okay. so there was no lettuce. No lettuce, just yeah. a little little green bean based salad, and I was very impressed. <laughs> Love it. Fun. All right. Well, we want to thank everybody for watching Recipe Share, and be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on aadl.org to find the recipes we talked about and to share your own in the comments. Join us next time when our category will be food truck inspired. We're looking forward to seeing what you've been making, so thanks for sharing. Recipe share, recipe share, share the little recipe.